Some of my students have noticed that when they take their Maya files home, they lose all of their lighting and the textures for their scenes. For example, I can't see the textures for my image planes here, and I'm also expecting a HDRI dome to be lighting up this object here. And if I turn my wireframe off, you literally can't see a thing because there's no lighting coming from an image because you just can't find it. So the first thing I'll do is click on an object which has lost its texture. For example, this image plane, I'll click on it. If you cannot click on your image plane for whatever reason, just check in your layers that you have turned off all of your references. So some of you have set your image planes to be R for reference. If you click on the R so it goes away, you are now able to click on them. And you can go to the attribute editor on the right hand side and you're going to want to go to the image name area over here. You can see where it's trying to look for this image. So if I show you this, it's looking for in the source images folder for your current project. It's looking in the this, for example, the iPhone area here, and it's looking for an image called iPhone 11 Pro orthographic, and it's just not finding it. So if I go to Windows and go to my Maya project area, which is in Maya projects, and I happen to be working in default which isn't always the best idea, but it's fine if you're new to Maya. And I'm expecting in my source images there to be my HDRI Sky Dome and my orthographic phone view. So all you really have to do is download the images that you were using at school and put them into this folder as well, into source images. So wherever you got the images from, probably from Google Drive or Classrooms, download them and put them into the source images folder. Then go back into Maya. It may automatically update once you've done that. If it doesn't, you can do file, open scene, and reopen the scene that isn't working for you. So for me, it's this file here. I'm gonna hit open. I'll hit don't save because I haven't done much. By reopening this scene, it has now found all of the lighting. And if I bring up my image planes again, it has found everything because I've re-put the images in the directory it was looking for. Now there's a chance that didn't work for you, maybe because the images you're using are different or they're in a slightly different place to where you were looking for them at school. So if that didn't work, try this. Click on a object with a missing texture and in the attribute editor, go to the image name for this image plane, go to the folder and you may need to manually click on it. So again, I'm just gonna make sure that I put my images into the source images area here. And now once they're in there, I'll manually have to click on this and hit open. I'll have to do this for each one to tell it the new image name to look for. And so you only have to do this if you're using a differently named image at home to what you're using at school. Your sky dome light might be a bit different because for many of you, I've taught you how to hide the sky dome. Um, it may be in your layers, it may be set as a reference, but the easiest way to do this is simply go to go to your outliner. You can go to Windows, Outliner, and in there you'll see something that says AI Sky Dome Light. You may need to scroll for a while to find it. Once you click on it, uh, for me, because I just put this HDRI into the correct folder, it automatically found it. But if that doesn't work for you, you can click on the AI Sky Dome Light here, go to the attribute editor on the right, find the area called color, and this means there's a input going on here. So we can click on that, and it's looking for the input for this image here. It's looking for something called that. If it's different to what you've used at school, click on your folder and choose the new HDRI that you're using at home, hit open, and the lighting should come into your scene. To solve this problem in the future, always move your Maya file with its entire project as well. So for example, this I have a whole project here just for a single car. Um, and if I go into scenes, you can see there's just a single Maya file. It'd be very tempting just to upload the single green Maya file for this Audi R8 to Google Drive. But if I do that, I'll lose all of its textures, materials, and HDRI lighting. So to stop this from happening, I will simply go into my projects area, click on the entire project for the car, and I will upload this whole folder to this whole project folder to Google Drive. Sometimes it might be a good idea to zip or compress this by right clicking on it and hitting send to and hit compressed zip to folder. This just makes it a lot easier for Google Drive to upload and download this um, in one go, I find. So when moving files, if you zip them, it just happens to work really well. And now you can drag this uh, zipped file onto Google Drive. Uh, take it home, download it from Google Drive, and when you extract it and open it up at home, it's got all of these folders, including source images, and 
it will just work at home as well. And make sure this folder goes into the projects area of Maya at home. And then the best way to make sure that your image is always open at home through a project is to go to open up Maya. I'm in an empty standard scene here, but go to file, set project and click once on the project that you'd like to set it to. Don't set it to the zip folder because you cannot work through zip folders, but click on your extracted project here and hit set. Nothing will happen straight away, but when you go to file, open scene, and it will take you straight to the scenes folder of the project that you just set, hit open. I'm gonna not save that. You'll see that the textures have loaded in straight away. So setting a project will make sure that Maya knows to look there for the textures and it will work.